Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Steffis King Entrepreneurship, a place for future successful entrepreneurs. Let's dive right in and start by understanding what we mean by economic uncertainties. In simple terms, these are unpredictable factors that have the potential to disrupt the ordinary flow of economies and markets. In 2024, their relevance is more pronounced than ever, given the rapidly changing global landscape. These uncertainties can spring from various sources. One major contributor is changes in government policies. For instance, a sudden shift in trade regulations or tax laws can send ripples across the business landscape, affecting everything from small startups to multinational corporations. One must always be prepared for such contingencies. Global events are another source of economic uncertainty. These could be anything from geopolitical conflicts to pandemics, from technological breakthroughs to climate crises. Such events can drastically alter market dynamics, creating new challenges and opportunities alike. In 2024, as we become more interconnected than ever, the impact of these global events on our economic reality cannot be overstated. Then there are market shifts, which are often a byproduct of the above factors, but can also be driven by changes in consumer behavior, technological advancements, or competitive dynamics. These shifts can redefine entire industries, necessitating that businesses stay agile and adaptive. Now, why should we care about economic uncertainties? Well, they have a direct impact on both businesses and individuals. For businesses, they can affect revenues, costs, and ultimately profitability. For individuals, they can influence employment prospects, income levels, and cost of living. But it's not all doom and gloom. Economic uncertainties, while potentially disruptive, also carry the seeds of innovation and growth. They can spur businesses to innovate, to find new ways of delivering value to their customers. They can push individuals to learn new skills, to become more resilient. So, while the road might be bumpy, it can also lead us to exciting new destinations. Economic uncertainties can be daunting, but they also can be opportunities for growth and innovation. Moving on, we must recognize market shifts as they occur. What is a market shift, you ask? Well, it's a significant change in the market landscape that can drastically affect businesses. It could be a new technology that changes how we do things, a shift in consumer behavior, or a sudden change in industry trends. Imagine you're a sailboat captain. The sea is your market, and the winds are the trends. As the winds change, you adjust your sails to move with the wind, not against it. That's how businesses should approach market shifts. Now, how can you spot these shifts? One of the most obvious signs is a change in consumer behavior. If your customers start to demand something different, or if they're no longer interested in what you're offering, then that's a clear sign of a market shift. For example, let's say you're in the music industry. A couple of decades ago, people were buying CDs, then the digital revolution happened, and suddenly, everyone was downloading music. Now, we're in the age of streaming. Each of these changes represented a major shift in the market. Another sign of a market shift is technological advancements. Take the rise of electric cars, for instance. The automobile industry has been dominated by gasoline-powered vehicles for over a century. But with the advent of electric vehicles, we're seeing a significant shift in the industry. The key to surviving these market shifts is to adapt and innovate. If you're in the music industry and you're still selling CDs in the age of streaming, you're going to struggle. But if you adapt and start offering digital downloads or streaming services, you'll be able to ride the wave of change. So, how can entrepreneurs adapt to these shifts? It all starts with staying informed. Keep an eye on industry trends and technological advancements. Listen to your customers. Be open to change and be ready to pivot your business model if necessary. Remember, market shifts are not threats, but opportunities for growth and innovation. They are the winds that can propel your business to new heights if you learn to sail with them. Market shifts are inevitable. The key is to adapt and innovate. Now, how does one adapt to these changes? Well, adaptation is the key to navigating any form of uncertainty particularly those that are economic in nature. 
Let's delve into some strategies that can help us adapt to market shifts and economic uncertainties. Firstly, diversifying business operations is a crucial strategy. Let's think about it. If you're only selling one product or service, and the demand for that declines, you're in a tough spot. But, if you're offering a variety of products or services, a drop in demand for one can be offset by the others. Diversification doesn't just mean offering different products or services, it can also mean exploring different markets, both domestically and internationally. Secondly, investing in technology is another strategy that cannot be overstated. Technology can help businesses operate more efficiently, reach more customers, and stay competitive. It can also help you adapt to changes in the way business is done. For instance, if more transactions are happening online, a robust e-commerce platform can keep you in the game. And lastly, staying informed about industry trends should be a no-brainer. Knowledge is power, and in this context, it's the power to adapt. If you're aware of the trends and shifts in your industry, you can anticipate changes and react accordingly. Remember, the early bird gets the worm. But above all, it's vital to remain flexible and resilient. Flexibility allows you to adjust your strategies as the situation demands, and resilience helps you withstand the storms of change. These are not just qualities, but survival skills in the world of business. So, to sum it up, adapting to change involves diversifying your operations, investing in technology, staying informed about industry trends, and cultivating flexibility and resilience. But it's more than a survival tactic. It's a growth strategy. Adapting to change is not just about survival, but about seizing opportunities for growth. But how does one not just survive, but thrive amidst these challenges? In a rapidly evolving economic landscape, thriving amidst uncertainties is not just a matter of resilience, but also about leveraging one's innate strengths, seizing opportunities, and fostering strong relationships. Thriving is about harnessing the power of your strengths, those unique attributes and talents that set you apart from the rest. It is about focusing on what you do best and using that to navigate through the choppy waters of economic uncertainty. So take a moment to identify your strengths. Are you a brilliant strategist, a creative problem solver, an effective communicator? Once you've identified these, use them to your advantage. Next, thriving involves capitalizing on opportunities Challenges often bring with them a shift in the status quo, and in that shift, opportunities are born. These could be gaps in the market, new consumer demands, or even changes in regulations that open up new avenues for business. The key is to stay alert, be ready to seize these opportunities when they present themselves, and be adaptable enough to pivot your strategies when necessary. Building strong relationships is another strategy for thriving amidst challenges, in times of uncertainty, having a network of supportive and reliable individuals can make a world of difference. These could be mentors who guide you, peers who inspire you, or partners who complement your strengths. Remember, no one is an island, and in the world of business, relationships are paramount. One cannot thrive without a positive mindset and a proactive approach. Challenges are bound to arise, but it is your attitude towards these challenges that will determine your trajectory. So cultivate a mindset that views challenges not as setbacks, but as opportunities for growth and learning. And don't just react to changes, anticipate them. Be proactive in your strategies, always looking ahead and planning for the future. Challenges are opportunities in disguise. The key is to leverage on them and turn them into stepping stones for success. So don't just survive in 2024, thrive. To wrap things up, let's take a moment to look back on what we've covered. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? We've dived into the murky waters of economic uncertainties and learned how to navigate them. We've recognized that market shifts are not our enemies, but opportunities to recalibrate our strategies and innovate. We've acknowledged the importance of adapting to change. It's not just about surviving, but truly thriving amidst these challenges. It's like being a surfer riding the waves of change instead of being swept away by them. Remember, the only constant in life is change itself, and our ability to adapt is what defines us as entrepreneurs. 
we've also learned to thrive amidst challenges. It's not just about weathering the storm, but learning to dance in the rain. Challenges are opportunities in disguise, and they push us to grow, innovate, and emerge stronger. So when the going gets tough, remember, the tough get going. As we approach 2024, let's do so with an open mind and a proactive attitude. Let's not be afraid of the unknown, but embrace it with curiosity and courage. After all, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. And remember, knowledge is power. The more we know, the better equipped we are to navigate the uncertainties that lie ahead. So keep learning, keep growing, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. In conclusion, navigating economic uncertainties is not a destination, but a journey. It's about being resilient, adaptable, and proactive. It's about turning challenges into opportunities and uncertainties into certainties. It's about not just surviving, but thriving in 2024. Subscribe to Steffi's King Entrepreneurship for more videos. And until next time, remember, the future is not something we enter, but something we create. So let's create a future we can all be proud of.